Okay, so the fermentation now has been going just over seven days on the, um, the wash. And what I need to do now is just to check to see where we are with it. I'm just going to drop the hydrometer in. Whoa, that's gone right down. Yep. That's shown a gravity now of 980. So we've had a fantastic fermentation, which obviously you'd expect from us. But we've had a fantastic fermentation, and this is now ready to be fined and to be degassed. I think one of the other things that you'll notice from this particular one is look how the bucket has started to lose its cloudy appearance. As you go down the bucket, it's starting to clear on its own quite naturally, and we've got a heavy build-up of carbon at the bottom. Now, some people ask me, is it worth racking it off the carbon or siphoning it off the carbon at this stage into another container and leaving them up behind? Our personal opinion is no, you should leave it because the findings actually like to be able to get hold of anything that's in suspension. And the more that's in suspension, the more effective the findings are. So, what we need to do now is just degas this. We've got several options. We've got the hard work option, which is we just get a paddle and we just start to give it a bit of a stir. You can see the gases are now starting to come up. That's option one. Option two, we can siphon it from one container or pour it from one container to another, but again, quite hard work. The option I actually quite like is this thing here called a degasser, and it's a stick that goes onto the end of a drill. So no, we haven't gone into joinery now or anything like that, or DIY. We're still on the winemaking, but we're trying to make life easy for ourselves. So we've got a degasser here. I'll show you this in operation, but obviously just need to make sure it's clean and sterile before we start. That just simply goes into the chuck. Of the drill. So, this particular bung is particularly useful when you've got a glass or plastic fermenter. It just stops it going too far down. So when we do it, just hold it in place. And what we need to do every few minutes is just reverse it as well, because the water is now starting to swim around one way, and we just want to make sure we get the reverse action. So you can see how much easier it is using the degasser than using a spoon. Um, so now we've degassed. Now we've degassed the liquid, we just need to uh, decide on adding the filings and which ones we're going to use. My personal preference on all these is the Turbo Clear, uh, the Still Spirits Turbo Clear, probably the best filings on the market. It's a two parter, so we've got one which is a negative charge and one which is a positive charge. Um, and these filings are absolutely vicious. The whole thing about the fermentation is that we've tried to create something that was really neutral, that tasted nothing. So in the bucket now we've got 14% alcohol and it's like drinking alcoholic water. There's no taste to it. Now this will further remove any off flavours, any taste, anything that's in the liquid. Because that has to be as neutral as possible. Once it goes into a still, and it's in a still, then <clears throat> the concentration of flavour will take place. So if you've got some off flavours in there, by the time they've been through the still, those are going to be increased. So what we do with the two part findings is part A goes in at the start. So we just slip the corner, lob it in, and again we can use the, uh, the degasser to stir it up. Adjust the speed to whatever you feel comfy with on your degasser. Now, unfortunately, we have a little wait here. We have to leave that for an hour, minimum. Doesn't matter if it's a day, but at least an hour before we add part B. So we're going to go and have a, some lunch, and we'll come back, and we'll add part B, and show you what we're doing. Hi, yeah, great. So we're back from lunch, 
uh, nice glass of wine, which was, yes, rather tasty. Um, we've now come to finish off uh, the clearing of this liquor. And we've got there part B. Part B is the chitosan. I should have told you earlier, part A is a kiesel saw. Um, so we add part B, the chitosan. Again, set the corner, so easy. Just make sure we get it all in. Now with part B, we don't want to mix this really well in. We just want to fold it in. So just give it a fold, nice and gentle. That'll just get it dissolved into the liquid. And that's all we need to do. That's it, it's as simple as that. Put the lid back on, leave it to clear. It does help a little bit if the place is cool, but it's not essential, it will still clear. Um, we've got to make sure that all those gases were out of the liquid, because if they weren't, it will take much longer to clear. So that degassing part is a really important step in the making of our wash. So, from here, hopefully within 24 hours, we're going to have some nice clear liquor that tastes of absolutely nothing, as I've said before. Should be about 14% alcohol. We can then siphon it off the sediment into another container and then it'll be ready to go into the still. And we'll deal with the still when we come back. <laughs>